I think the road has been paved with success so far, except for not qualifying for the for the AFCON. But that was also sometime I was not a regular in the squad because of injury. Then another time the coach did not, I think CRC at the time did not um, nominate me. But it's always a pleasure to play for the Super Eagles, an honor. And um, I think it's just for me, after missing the World Cup 2014, to be on that stage four years later, I think it's just um, the icing on the cake. Yeah, um, you, quite some new things are happening in your life. Uh, you qualify for the World Cup, you are looking forward to a great outing. But towards the end of the last season, you were having injury problems and you bounced back. And uh, it's reported that you signed a new contract in England. It's not just reported, it's confirmed I signed. Good. So um, the injury wasn't that bad. It was, uh, I missed two games. Um, then also it was by force, so I... It was not my fault, it was unlucky, it was an accident in the game uh, that I suffered that injury from, but um, no, I'm, I'm good, I'm good to go. Okay. Looking forward to, to the World Cup and now it's all about preparation. Now, how do you see uh, the World Cup itself? Uh, our group is a tricky one with uh, very top class teams, you know. Uh, thankfully, you have met Argentina before. How do you see the teams in our group and how our chances? Um, I think Ice, Iceland is uh, the most physical one. Croatia is technically very, very um, gifted. And um, I think Argentina is a mix of both. Um, then also, for good reason, they are the, the, they are the favorite to win this group. But then at the same time, I think most of the teams or most of the world, they underrate us. Um, but I like that role, to be the underdog, because then we can surprise. But to surprise, we must be we must be on top of our game, especially against those, uh, especially against this opposition. Um, and I'm not just talking Argentina and Croatia. I'm also talking Iceland because if you have, if you see their players, they put their heart into the game, and um, it's going to be a tough one. I think we have the toughest group, or the most interesting at least. So it's, it's going to be a tricky one, as you say. But I think um, our team spirit is amazing, and. Uh, we need to have faith in ourselves, in our abilities, in our team, in each other, and then we can succeed. You don't fear injuries? You don't fear... Injuries? No, because fear is, the, is, a, is, an, is a bad advisor. So, if you think with fear, if you play with fear, something's going to happen. I'm not playing with fear, I'm playing with confidence. All right, Brighton, finally. You are in the Premier League now. How do you see? I still need time to, to, real, to realize all this. I Actually, I don't even realize that I'm going to the World Cup. I think this will only happen when I'm... My good friend, my, no, my good friend Kevin Prince Boateng told me the same. As he said, "Bro, it's like this. You will only realize when you're in the in the in the bus to the game. Of course, before the whole atmosphere, the scenery, you will you will you will um, recognize it. But that you play on the biggest stage of the world that we dreamed of as little kids. This will only, yes, this will only be realistic for you and, and touchable somehow um, if you if you enter the bus for the first game. And the same is with the Premier League. Um, I signed my contract." Then I immediately joined the Super Eagles in camp. So I think I will just finally realize when I start to prepare my move for Mainz to Brighton and uh, then it probably will sink in. But I'm looking forward to that time as well. Follow Hot Sports on social media. We are at Hot Sports NG on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram.